Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Kickin' Bass TV. In today's video, we're gonna talk about something that's affecting anglers all over the United States, especially in the western half, and that's all the smoke in the air from the wildfires. We're gonna talk about how to fish these conditions and also give you guys a couple of bait suggestions. So if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below and stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys, so as if 2020 wasn't already fun enough, because of the hot, dry summer we've had, we've now got multiple states across the country that are suffering from wildfires that are burning out of control. It's not only devastating to the forest areas, the wildlife, and the residents that are being forced to evacuate their homes in these parts of the country, it's also left a blanket of smoke in the sky, which depending on where you live can cover your entire city and also has an effect on the fishing conditions. Now obviously if you show up to your lake and you've got this much smoke in the air, you should probably find a different place to fish. Use your better judgment and try to limit your time outdoors in areas like this. If you are lucky enough to find a spot where you can breathe relatively clean air and fish, the conditions really aren't that different from fishing your typical cloudy, overcast day. You've got decreased visibility, which means the bass can't see you or their predators as well. And that's gonna basically lead to an overall change in their behavior and patterns, meaning that they're gonna be more comfortable wandering around later in the day, whereas normally when the sun is up, they would pull back to those areas of cover. And as anybody knows who's fished in those overcast rainy days, the bite can really start to pick up. And the same is true of these conditions. A great place to start is with topwater fishing. And in nine times out of 10, a situation like this, I'm gonna start with a buzz bait because it's not only got that great visual presentation with the wake that it makes on the surface of the water, but in situations like ours, where you've got smoky, or cloudy skies, maybe the visibility isn't that great, that added noise factor that the buzz bait brings to the table can sometimes be the difference between catching fish and not catching fish. Another key factor is lure color selection. Typically in an overcast or in our case, a smoky day, you don't wanna throw transparent or neutral colors because they don't show up in the water as well. Instead, you wanna throw something bold like a black and blue, a white, or a chartreuse because that increased visibility means a bigger chance of getting bit. In the first 10 minutes in this spot, we had already caught five bass and while they weren't the biggest bass, what it did let us know is that we were on them right away and that they seemed to be pulled up tight into the shallow water here, even though it was almost 97 degrees degrees and it was the middle of the afternoon. So we moved down about 100 yards and tied on another go-to lure of mine, which is a Texas rig craw. Now, typically this time of year, I'm fishing this craw a little bit farther out, targeting those deep water summer bass. But since we were hitting them in the top water in the shallows, we decided to do the same thing with the craw. Very first cast out with the craw, guys. And in less than a foot of water, about three feet out, as you can see from the bank. And we had our first decent bass of the day on it. While conditions definitely aren't ideal, I think it's important to always try to find silver lining in situations like this. And at least from the angler's perspective, I think that the silver lining in dealing with all these smoky conditions is, if nothing else, at least the activity's picked up and the bite has increased. So if you do have free time to get out and you're lucky enough to have a decent area to fish, encourage you guys to get out and make the best of the situation at hand. Take advantage of these current conditions, the increased bite, and go catch some fish. Another great lure for summer leading into fall are crankbaits. Now, typically in the spring, in the spawn, I throw reds, my craw patterns, and for the summer, I move into throwing more natural things like a green sunfish, my bluegills, and uh, things like my ghost and transparent crankbaits. But with all this smoke in the sky basically emulating, like we said, a uh, overcast sky, you wanna reach for those bright, vivid colors that are gonna stand out more in the water. It's a great time to sort of just get out there, experiment with some of those crazy colored lures that maybe you never use or just that they aren't that practical an option for a clear water situation. So sure enough, we took off our natural bluegill colored crank. We tied on this bright white and chartreuse and it made all the difference right away. In the first couple of minutes, we had another decent bass on the line. So just goes to show you guys, don't be afraid to experiment with your color options. If you've got overcast conditions, move away from those neutral natural colors and move into those bright, vivid, experimental colors because you'd be surprised how the fish will completely ignore one color and smash another one. Another great option for low visibility conditions is a glowing bait. And one of my favorite glowing baits is a glow-in-the-dark fluke. 
Essentially, all that a fluke is, is a soft jerk bait. And we're throwing a glow in the dark with a chartreuse tail. This is an awesome color combination for low visibility conditions because not only does it stick out in the water like a sore thumb, but the fact that it's a jerk bait and you're gonna be ripping it through the column with those erratic movements, it's gonna draw in those aggressive summer bass and they are absolutely gonna smash these things. So don't be afraid to try out some of the different baits that we showed you guys today. Um, sure enough, we got out, we caught a good you know, 10 to 12 fish, a 97 degree day, we moved around to a couple different bodies of water and we were able to use these conditions to our advantage. So like we said, real similar to an overcast day and the bite has definitely picked up all over. So hopefully you guys can get out and take advantage of these current conditions. That's gonna do it for the video today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hopefully it helped you out. If so, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below because that's the best way to show your support for the channel. You can hit that like button as well. And don't hesitate to leave us a comment in the comment section down below. As always, you can find us on Instagram at Kickin' Bass TV Official. Until next time, I'm D with Kickin' Bass TV. Subscribe!